Mueller report isn't changing 2020 campaign dynamics you yet. As Nuzayov the just complete the Russia investigation in Gulf's Washington, not much has changed on the campaign trail you for either party. The full report by special counsel Robert S. Mueller III has yet to see the light of day. And with the 20 the most vocal Republicans are using Attorney General William P. Barr's summary of the Mueller report to double down on their argument that Democrats only care about obstructing President Donald Trump and the GOP agenda. But Republican law Democrats are brushing off attacks that their party has overreached, a stress and gas need for transparency and checks and balances. But rather than talk photo gallery by Business Insider, Unless something drastic changes when the full report comes, I wouldn't expect that to change, said one Democratic strategist involved in House races. In the wake of Barr's letter to Congress, a flurry of emails from Republican campaigns made the case no collusion. Democrats lied to the American people, read a press release from the Republican National Committee. South Carolina Senior who was golfing with, going forward, hopefully in a bipartisan fashion, we will begin to unpack the other side of the story. The Senate Judiciary, for some Republicans, Barr's conclusions weren't just about exonerating the president. It was a piece of evidence. The National Republican Congressional Committee went after several 2020 targets, specifically freshman representatives. Of South Carolina, some strategists see the Mueller report giving the party more of an offensive message that could play well in a district like Cunningham's, which backed Trump by 13 points. In a statement Monday, that's also likely to be the case when it comes to linking vulnerable House Democrats to their colleagues' ongoing investigations. After the ultimate exhaustive, two-year investigation, the question now is will Democrats do what's right for America or will they continue manufacturing outrage and demanding perpetual investigations? Said Dan Constan, president of the Congressional Leadership Fund, a super PAC aligned with House GOP leadership. The group's Senate equivalent UA Senate Leadership Fund, which is aligned with Senate Majority Leader, you deployed a similar message against Virginia Asin. The top Democrat, Mueller's report exposed for pushing conspiracy theories at the expense of his own constituents, SLF spokesman Jack Pandall said in a statement. But Warner's real, although the some Republicans are looking to make Mueller's report a 2020 issue, it remains to be seen whether they will put money behind that message in campaign ads, especially in Senate races in purple states such as Colorado, North Carolina, New Hampshire, and Maine, or in the suburban House districts where Trump remains unpopular. The reaction to the Mueller report from Indiana Sr. Idaho chairs the nap with the investigation now complete, it's time to accept his findings and move on, Ahe said in a statement Monday. Right now, the issues that actually move numbers, if you look at polling on a number of issues you jobs, economy, health care, border security you add that's top of mind for a lot of voters, said one GOP source. I think that is where, since Mueller turned over his report to Barr on Friday, Democratic lawmakers and outside groups have sent out fundraising emails and petitions demanding the full lay findings be made public. But don't expect Democratic strategists agree that health care and the economy you not Russia UA is what moves voters. Our strategy is and always has been to talk about the ways that Donald Trump has hurt American families economically by enacting policies that are meant to help corporations and the wealthy. Nothing has changed. On the first day back from recess, the House Democrats campaign arm was blasting out press releases about the town halls freshman lawmakers have held. The Democratic con talking about Russia and Donald Trump doesn't necessarily hurt Democrats in any way, said Tyler Law, formerly with the DCCC. The subject has you and will inevitably you come up on the campaign trail, with many Democrats during the 2018 cycle using the cloud over Trump to paint a broader message about dysfunction in Washington. But when it comes to, it's not the best strategy for both reaching persuadable voters and also motivating our own base to turn out and vote, Law said.
Republicans will inevitably attack all Democrats for overreaching you both on policy priorities and the Russia investigation you whether or not they've actually backed the Green New Deal or made claims about collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. But Democratic lawmakers who are attacked over the Mueller investigation or oversight on Capitol Hill shouldn't apologize for supporting transparency, strategists said. Voters expect a check and a balance, Law said. They voted for that and President Trump was always the mood music, even if candidates were not focused on talking about him, Law said. Stephanie Aiken contributed to this report. A. Get breaking news alerts and more from Roll Call or your.